What's going on everyone? It's Jimbo with the Auto Detailing Podcast. Today we're going to be showing you how to apply a wax or a sealant to your car without causing spider webbing or swirl marks. And that's a big thing that gets brought up is that uh, uh, putting in swirl marks and spider webbing to your car could really deter from the look of the car. So we're going to be showing you how to do that properly today. Um, and in fact, those terms spider webbing and swirl marks kind of get thrown around a lot together. and to clear the air, a swirl mark is only put in by a machine. In fact, only a rotary machine can put in swirl marks. So anyway, we're going to be applying a uh, wax today to this 1987 Toyota Land Cruiser on the back hatch here, and I'm going to be showing you how to do it with a few simple products and without, with ensuring that you're not putting any uh, imperfections into the paint. So what you're going to want to do is take a really soft new wax applicator sponge like this one. This one, saved it. This one's actually from autofiber.com uh, and you could use my promo code Jimbo at autofiber.com to save 20%. So what I'm gonna do is just add a couple dots to this applicator. I like to do five because it kind of looks nice. So I'm gonna apply that and then applying zero pressure. Here, I'll do it over here. I'm literally applying no pressure, just working in circular motions. The circular motions aren't gonna cause any spider webbing or swirl marks. And I'm just going really gently, laying down a really nice thin layer to the paint. That's it. Just, you could do straight motions if you want. I just like circular motions. And when I do the, do the first line and then I drop down to do the second line, I'm gonna overlay 50% just to ensure that I'm getting full coverage on the car. So there's that, I'm gonna put that down. And then I prefer to use thinner towels because when I wash them, the wax residue uh, comes out of them easier. So, and then they revive better after a washing. So uh, this is the Mr. Everything from autofiber.com. It's a really nice big towel. Uh, edgeless, I guess it, it, they call it. Um, and again, the I don't like using a really thick nap towel or really high GSM towel for wax removal uh, because it seems like it has a harder time to come out of the towel once I wash it. And so I save those for either wiping off the clay like you've seen or as a final wipe down uh, after I remove the wax, after the car's completely dry and I'm going back through uh, to do a final wipe down. That's when I like those really plush towels. But for wax removal, I prefer kind of the, the general towel, the general all-purpose all towel. I'll link everything below so you know exactly what products I'm using, uh, including this little applicator thing from Autofiber. But again, save 20% on your towels. Why not at autofiber.com, use code Jimbo. And then, again, really gently, you're just gonna be wiping it off the surface. And you could wipe like that. You could wipe in straight motions. Uh, if you're really worried about it, to be honest, it's not going to matter if you go in straight motions or circular motions to remove it. Um, and again, just making sure I remove all that. And again, I really like these kind of all-purpose towels because the wax buildup when you remove it from the surface isn't huge. So again, it's a really nice towel, big enough could fold it into eights, whatever, and then as you, you know, as you work through the car and you're removing that wax, it makes it very, very simple to remove. And then once you go to wash it, the wax comes out of the towel very nicely because it doesn't have a thick nap. Um, so again, you can save 20% with these towels and all the other towels, the applicators, anything you need at autofiber.com. You can save 20%, but I'll have everything, including the wax and sealant I'm using uh, on this car here in the show notes below. Hope you guys will subscribe to my channel and hope you like these uh, videos.